John Milo, welcome. Thank you very much. I'm looking forward to this. Well, I've been looking forward to speaking to you because you're uh, an author of 20 critically acclaimed books, which have been translated into 12 languages. Tell me about that. Uh, well, I just started a long time ago and, um, and continued doing it, I guess. Uh, I, I didn't start off to be a, a writer or, uh, at all. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, I'm the laziest person on the earth. I, I never have actually set out to do anything. <laughs> uh, for the most part, I try to avoid doing anything, and I get myself into all sorts of uh, all sorts of commitments. <laughs> but so. you have committed to our pomegranate Halloween festival, um, and you'll be doing a workshop on the importance of magical invocation. So, can you tell us about that? Yeah, uh, every every magical ceremony, and to tell you the truth, I uh, pretty much uh, consider every willed action a magical ceremony. That's sort of part of my field theory. But even in uh, uh, more formal magical ceremonies of every kind, uh, there is usually... Uh, at the beginning of the ceremony, there are banishings and purifications, and then you consecrate your, your area toward a specific uh, purpose. And then there is the invocation of the deity or deities that you're working with. And that formula, that order of ceremony, uh, holds true uh, uh, throughout the, the entire spectrum of magical be, behavior. And uh, uh, it's pretty easy for us to see uh, what a banishing ritual might look like or what, what a purification ritual might look like. But the invocation uh, is, is something that we know we should be doing, but we kind of don't know exactly what it is and what it what it truly uh, entails and why it is the key factor in the equation of a magical ceremony. And I, I was raised uh, Protestant in uh, the Midwest uh, United States and I really had a bad taste in my mouth about invocation, because when I was a kid, every baseball, Little League baseball game uh, started out with somebody giving an invocation. Every class convocation, every, uh, every event had an invocation of some kind. And it was usually a half drunk uh, local pastor that comes out on the football field before the game and says, uh, uh, you know, uh, Holy Father God, Jesus, uh, you know, I hope that, you know, God bless these these uh, these uh, brave boys and the, the godly man that coaches them as they do battle on the field of combat. <laughs> it just. Uh, uh, I hated the thought of invocation, so when I got interested in uh, ceremonial magic and, and uh, say, the ceremonies of, of the Golden Dawn, which are quite formal, I looked at the invocations, and you know they were almost as bad as the drunken pastor on the football field. The, they're just so wordy and oh thou art so great and powerful oh you're so huge and i'm such a worm yeah. and uh, that gave me a bad taste in my mouth so i I've, I've discovered <laughs> what i think is really the key to what a real magical invocation is and uh and what it actually meant when we look at the the legend, the, the myth of King Solomon and how Solomon, before he could command the demons, 
properly invoked the deity. So it was the deity working through the magician who actually commanded the, the, the demons. Right. And uh, so that's what my talk is about. So whether you're a ceremonial magician or just a, a magic worker of, of uh, any ilk, right. uh, I think you'll get a kick. Well, that's of, after my question, because my question was going to be, who's this for? But it seems yeah. that any field of, of magic. Right. Amazing. So um, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> it's, it's a good story, and it's uh, very interesting. So what do you hope that people will take away from the workshop? Uh, whatever they need to take away from it, because it is such a, a universal... Uh, and uh, generic truth button that I'm trying to push in everybody that uh, that hopefully it will uh, uh, everyone will come away with a, uh, a better understanding of exactly what their personal deity is and why it's important for them to harmonize the characters and the personality they think they are and align it with their own chosen uh, beloved, if you will. So you hope to uh, people will take that knowledge and you'll show them how to um, take that forward? As best I can, yes. Amazing. I'm completely intrigued and uh, would like to know more, but I'll have to be at the workshop to find out. Yes, you will. Thank you so much. That's very interesting. So your workshop will be on Sunday at 4.30 UK time uh, until 6, which is 11.30 till 1 Eastern Standard Time. And you can book that on the website. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.